Hello and welcome to Art Appreciation with Gibby. Today we're going to go over some of Chris's newly released or leaked jail art. This is not stuff that he has drawn recently. This is not confirming that he's like in contact with anybody after he left jail. This is stuff that was drawn a long time ago that we are now just seeing for the first time. As you can see from everything behind me, I am a connoisseur of fine arts, um, such, such as Legos and Pokemon cards. I go to a lot of effort to make sure that the set behind me is visually pleasing, is beautiful, immaculate. I should be an interior decorator. Boom, right there, you got a whole bunch of different Pokeballs. And then like right, right next to the Pokeballs, you got like a different a, a different kind of Pokeball because they go together in a group. Like I'm genuinely an artist. I drew that dog behind me. I also made this logo, which is totally right now available on my Teespring store. Gibby's Rum Noodles established 2018. Anyway, today we're gonna be looking at two of Chris Chan's recently leaked artwork. Uh, specifically of note, these have um, writing on the backs of them. Wedded Schultz's is a piece of jail art Chris drew on the 29th of June, 2022. The drawing was accompanied by an artist note written on a piece of paper, which was a receipt showing Chris's commissary balance. The information pertaining to the commissary had been scratched out with pen, but still remained visible. So here you have Chris's drawing. It is in fact dated June 29th, 2022, and it is in fact signed by Jesus Christ Chan Sonichu. We have what is either a crowd of people or blades of grass in the background. Chris is floating, and he has two, uh, he has a Sonichu and a Rose Chu in front of him. He is marrying them like he is the priest. And then there's two other people, the best man and the, the, the maid of honor next to him. Chris is saying, bless this true and honest union of Alex Chu and Jenny Chan. I don't know who they are. Gonna be honest, I googled Alex Schultz, Jenny Schultz, Alex and Jenny Schultz, and I got nothing. On the back of the piece of paper, it's written, Artist's Note. For reference, more than 99% of all sonnet shoes and rose shoes are standing at 3 feet 5 inches, not counting the ears tall. Tall sonnet shoes and or rose shoes are uber rare, and thinking of the scale and height, even while levitating myself in the event, was a bit of a headache. Anyway, bless you both, I do. Be happy, safe, and well with love. Mrs. Jesus Christ Chan Sonichu, Wedded Schultzes. That makes me think that this is just two random people, Alex and Jenny Schultz, and that they asked Chris to draw them a picture, and so he drew them a picture of him wedding them. Just gonna be completely honest here, um, that seems like the worst possible um, mojo, juju, vibe. Basically just a curse, just a curse upon the marriage. I, I don't know who would willingly do that. The second and final piece of gel art for today was called An Honest Self-Portrait from June 2021. An Honest Self-Portrait from June 2021 is a piece of gel art drawn on the 5th of June 2022. <laughs> oh, so this, so this was drawn by Chris in jail of a time before he was arrested. It was a commissioned request made through Prater's shop by the Red Baron. The Red Baron stated that his request was for, quote, a drawing of Chris with his mother surrounded by Sonichu characters. That is vile. The drawing was accompanied by an artist note, written on the reverse of the paper, which was a receipt showing Chris's jail account balance. The information pertaining to the account had been scratched out with pen, but still remained visible. Alright, so we have this very cursed art piece. We have Chris, who actually, that looks very much like Chris. That is a phenomenal self-portrait, actually. That's That looks way more realistic like the real Chris than any of his other Sonichi drawings of himself. Wow. You got Mewtwo. Magichan, Krizel, um, Barb, which I'll get to in a second, and then Bob Sanchu is next to him, and that's probably Silvana behind Bob, dated June 2nd, 2022, signed Jesus Christ Chan Sanchu with this little neo-spiritual Christianity symbol there. Sometimes you really have to just stop and think about the reality of what you're looking at, and I've never really examined in full detail the fact that the neo-spiritual Christianity symbol is a cross. It's a full Christian cross with a blue heart on it. The blue heart symbolizing the Commodore 64 and then two lightning bolts on the ends where Jesus's hands would have been nailed to the wood with the lightning bolts symbolizing Pikachu the Pokemon. Anyway, we get Barb. She's got curly hair. She's got on a, a, a like a Hawaiian shirt. Her legs are like disgustingly wrinkled. <laughs> and her face has this blank expression on it. Keep in mind, this was, the time that this was drawn during would have been like when he was sleeping with her. And this, this is how he draws her, very not appealing. She just has this vacant stare and this neutral expression. It kind of looks like Chris is crying, by the way. 
and Barb, Bob is also very upset. And then the most interesting part is, of course, what's written on the back. An honest self-portrait from June 2021. Artists note, I've pondered how to properly draw the self-portrait of Barbara upon receiving the commission description recently. I've opted for an honest p piece, spelled wrong, reflecting past tense emotions that still were present. Last year, I had foreknown of mine and Barbara's separation two months less than later and the betrayal circumstances. But essentially, regardless of her past emotional manipulation and whatnot, I still cared and had patience when it came to tending to her care. Yet I could not escape emotions that she and I had already were drifting apart. Like, yes, Barb is not... Barb is obviously a victim, but Chris is also a victim in that his mother, his parents, treated him horribly. If the story is that... Barb's other son, Cole, tell her true, then she was horrible and abusive, and at some point, the blame for how Chris turns out really does need to rest in the hands of his parents, specifically Barb. Obviously, I'm not saying that what he did to her was her fault, but who he is as a person very much is her fault, and so when he says something to the effect of, regardless of past emotional manipulations and whatnot, he has a point, he's being honest. She threatened to harm herself multiple times if he didn't do what she wanted him to do. With that said, it is still kind of disgusting reading him blaming her for the horrible violation of her that he committed. It's just, it's just, it's difficult. Yet I could not escape emotions that she and I had already were not drifting apart. And that had become more clear over the past year with her worsening handicaps and lethargy. I've realized, despite my efforts with her, she had become an emotional burden even more so than beforehand. No, just before and. <laughs> That's funny. Before, and was holding me back. But ultimately, to return to better progress, work, and life, I have had to make the hard emotional choice to let her go. I have wept while writing this. Mrs. Jesus Christine Weston Chandler Sonnet You. In one sense, the fact that he probably will not get to see her again when he leaves jail and that there's probably going to be some sort of restraining order, it's good that he's now moved on and says that he doesn't want to interact with her. With that said, the fact that he is continually denying his own blame in the subject, I mean, is, that's exactly what we'd expect from Chris. Thank you for watching. Just a small update, we still don't know where Chris is, we have no idea what's happening. Obviously, when we do learn more information, I will keep you updated to make sure that you subscribe and follow me on Twitter at G-I-B-I underscore Devin. Very soon, I'm going to have a video going up about the Lane Shoe post.